Wisdom, to me, isn't an answer anyway. Wisdom is a question. It's like your mother saying, where have you been to this time of night? The question was the answer. She didn't want you to tell her. Wisdom is about experience, which hopefully would include risk taking and being somewhat adventurous. It is more blessed to give than to receive because in giving, although it doesn't seem so, you receive. You don't stop doing things because you get old. You get old because you stop doing things. I get sillier as I get older, so I don't know what I don't know what wisdom means. It's awfully sad that with our clever brain capable of taking us to the moon, we seem to have lost wisdom. And that's the wisdom of the indigenous people who would make a major decision based on how will this decision affect our people seven generations ahead. It's not about brains. It's not about the accumulation of knowledge. It's about being decent. Nobody can teach me who I am. You can describe parts of me, but who I am and what I need, um, these are things I have to find out myself. It's a play, isn't it? You know, you've got to get through the third act. You really have. And you've got to finish as strongly as you began. And, and if that's the, the proposition, then uh, get to work. I think the happiest way of life is to be developing or making making things. Your best work is your expression of yourself. Now, you may not be the greatest at it, but when you do it, you're the only expert in it. Well, you can't get to wonderful without passing through all right. You can't skip from not being able to function all the way over to running the whole show. And if you happen to have talent, then you take that uh, technique somewhere with your talent and you create new things. There is no way that uh, uh, we can escape ourselves. Uh, if I give you a recipe and I give five people the same recipe, I will have five different dishes on the table. One of the reasons um, I haven't slipped into some sort of retirement is I always feel like I'm learning something new all the time. I always thought that inspiration is for amateurs. Uh, the rest of us just show up and get to work. If you wait around for the clouds to part and a bolt of lightning to strike you in the brain, you're not gonna make an awful lot of work. If you're ever gonna create a peaceful world, you're going to have to ask, what is it possible for the other fellow to do? If you believe in the law, it applies to everyone. Once you say it doesn't apply to one person or to a group of people, they're really saying, well, I don't believe in the rule of law. When you look at conflict, no matter where it exists, what's it about? It's about difference. Difference of race, religion, or nationality. And the answer to difference is to respect it, not to fight about it. If a sovereign does not take care of his or her people, then the international community has a responsibility to protect. You cannot control people by uh, fear because their ultimate, their ultimate essence is constantly craving dignity. And that the human being has a need for dignity uh, just as, uh, like water, like air. You don't have to be rich and you don't have to be an army if you find yourself in a situation that needs to be changed if you're willing to offer your life for it, you might actually get something done. Now, I was in the Air Force a while, and uh, they have what they call policing the area. And that's where you looked around, and if there's anything wrong here, or there, anywhere, where well, you took care of your own area. Uh, if everyone just takes care of their own area, then we won't have any problems. But it's not its not just policing your own area because that can turn into its own ego trip. Look at me, I'm doing something in the environment rather than saying it's something I have to do because it's necessary. You don't have to be a United States Senator to make a difference. Uh, nurses make a difference. Uh, policemen make a difference. People work with special needs children make a difference. I don't know if political change can affect that much. The change has to be in the heart. Love something. I think we've got to learn to love something deeply. I think it's love. It sounds sentimental as hell, but I really think it is. I think love is the most important thing. Life is not perfect. It never will be. You just have to make the very best of it. And you have to open your heart to what the world can show you. 
and sometimes it's terrifying and sometimes it's incredibly beautiful and I'll take both, thanks.